Hi there, this is Mark Butterbus, your Data Protection Pal, and I wonder if you have read this article on the 16th of November 2020. It's about Happy Diwali, your data has been stolen and now sold on the dark web. Yes, India's biggest online grocery store has been, uh, well, maybe hacked, but whatever the case, 20 million users' data has been stolen and been put on the dark web for sale. And interestingly, it is for sale for a mere $40,000, 40,000 US dollars. And if you do your math, 40,000 divided by 20 million users' data, that works up to about 0 0.002 cents per data. So which means that for two cents, you get personal data of 10 people that include their full names, email, ID passwords, PIN numbers, contact numbers, email address, location information, and among other information. Now, is our data really that cheap? And you know, a few questions come up to my mind. Yes, one, is our data really that cheap? That cheap, you know? And I'm wondering, who buys this data? Is it social engineers? Is it Google? Facebook? Is it your local government? And what do they do with this data that, you know, that people will actually buy them? Of course, we already know about social engineers and how they use this data, make phone calls and say that, hey, I'm calling from the police or the government and I'm going to scam you. You know, that's one thing. But what else is our data being used for? That's something to ponder about. But you know, one more thing that's uh, really, really scary here, that is really a point of information and concern, is that it seems that a lot of the data was stolen from the states that were not so uh, well in the rural areas, rather. So people are typically not as educated. And when this data is stolen, and if used by social engineers, I'm just really wondering uh, how many more scams can happen. And I really, really urge governments, regulators to really, you know, do something to protect people who are not so aware of such scams. Because even though there's so much education all over the world about cyber scams and, and, and all these weird people calling in, people are still falling for them. I mean, admit and... I have fallen for some scam before and I've bought an iPhone. Yes, I'll agree for like 300 bucks and it never came. So, well, so people need to be educated. They need to be careful to be aware of this. And I'm just wondering really what could uh, the governments do. But one thing I want to do, I want to advocate cybersecurity education and understanding these scam callers or social engineers and how they work. So if anybody out there would like to work with me, uh, engineers, um, educationists, uh, educators or governments, please drop a text below and find me and we'll be getting in touch and we'll love to compile something to educate the youth, the public and even especially the elderly. So my name is Mark Barnabas and I wish that you had a a uh, great Diwali. I know people are still celebrating there in India. So happy Diwali to you and for everyone else, be good, be safe, take care of your data, be careful of scams and watch out because Black Friday is coming. We want to be extra careful. So good day and goodbye. Oh yes, please subscribe.